Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the the overlay. Um, it, it obviously it's not protected because we're going to be we're going to we can also load a YouTube video, or we can load a Camtasia video, whichever you prefer. It could be anywhere on the web. Uh, now obviously, uh, it would have to be your video somewhere, but you can load both of those types of videos using this it doesn't have to you don't have to protect it obviously you don't protect YouTube videos and you don't protect other videos that are on other sites because you can't okay because uh, unless you have code there in place to do it but anyway let's uh, let's go ahead and I'll show you how to do, do that I have them already set up but I'm gonna quickly show you exactly I'll do one uh, real fast here I'll just do um, Okay, let's go ahead and reset the form to add a new one. And and you basically you just click on the button here. It doesn't have to be YouTube, like I said, it could be a Camtasia. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and tell us you what fields are necessary, but you, you'll see that in, in this tutorial. I'm going to go, I'll do YouTube. YouTube too, because I already have a, a YouTube. And the bucket obviously these fields are empty you don't need them if you put a value in there it wouldn't matter anyway it would be ignored um, but there there you don't need these um, you do this is where the URL goes so if I I'm gonna I already have the link here and what this link is as you can see it's got the embedded te uh, the embedded folder when you go to YouTube and you go to a video that can be shared you click the share link and then there's there's embed and you click the embed tab and it, it gives you iframe code well this is the URL of that iframe that you put in here okay it's really easy to do and basically expiry is you don't use you don't you don't need height or width that's all set for you already uh, the, 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 the video first frame is not needed because it's being pulled in from YouTube the streaming video file that's not needed because it's being played from YouTube but you do need a CSS file because it's using the overlay um, I'll go with red this time and you don't the skin would not be used because it's again coming from YouTube uh, the index text you can use text or an image I'll just choose one here let's go with that button okay and uh, then you get your short code and it's basically the same thing you can I already have one set up here so I'm not I won't bother showing you this one because I already have this exact same one set up here and if I go back to my posts and I'll go all posts these look funny here because of, because of the size of the window but let me scroll down here and that's the one I just so I click on that and there's my YouTube and I'll just do a preview and and I I mean this is the one I saved it's it's using text instead of an image okay so I go ahead and click on that and there's a YouTube video okay there's the background I used there's my my blog in the background there and this is right up on YouTube there you go you're all set there's your YouTube video embedded and a real nice display it, this looks really nice on your site okay now that I'm showing you how to how to embed a YouTube video I'm going to show you a Camtasia setting uh, Camtasia is a usually uh, when you compile videos using Camtasia you get index switch file with embedded code inside the index page and basically you're going to be loading that index page okay and how that works basically is it's the same thing as the YouTube except what you're going to be um, you know same information except you're going to put the URL to the index file here okay now the video um, the video size here is not um, it's not needed because it's, it's being pulled in, into an iframe which is about 80 percent and we set it to that because depending on your video if it's Camtasia you know you may have a table of contents with your video which then increases that video window so 80% should be more than enough to display any type of video that you're playing now how we do this is is that if you had if somebody had their window shrunk like if they only had it half their monitor size when they click the link 
the video would be would would have scroll bars because it automatically appends eighty percent of whatever the screen size of the browser is at that time. So when I show you this, I'm gonna open it up to a full window and then I'll click it and you'll see what I mean by that, okay? So I'll come back to my edit posts. Now what what I'll do is I'll go ahead and I believe I'm already on here, so I'm gonna go ahead with preview. Okay. Now before I click on this button, I'm going to I'm gonna go ahead and um open up this to a full page. Now you're not gonna be this actually you know what I won't I probably don't need a full page, I'm just gonna make it bigger. That way I can I can move the window around. Okay, so I'll move that down and there's my player button there. Okay, so I'll go ahead and click that. And you can see it's 80% of that window. There's still a scroll bar, but because it's not because this window isn't 100%. Okay, so basically that's that's how that would work. Okay, and then the height obviously is not the full size. That's why this window looks squished because it, it's 80% of what this window size is. Okay, and then you click on that and it plays your video. Now if I opened this up to a full window, this there would be no scroll bars. Okay. So I basically have done this so it will incorporate a, a table of contents with Camtasia or anything like that. It can be any video, any file that, that's able to play a video. It has all its it's got the player file with it, it's got this if it's JavaScript, it's got the JavaScript files with it. It's got the it's got the video link to it inside that index page or whatever it may be. You just have to give me the URL and it will pull in a page. You can use this for any page, to be quite frank. It will pull it in as an iframe. So you can put up a, a product offer if you prefer. It doesn't matter. It can be really anything, but we, we uh, and that's really how, how how simple it is to use. It's, it's a it's wonderful. You can you can pull in protected video streaming from uh, if, especially if you have a membership site set up and you got protected videos you don't want shared. Well, obviously you're going to use the protected feature. If you're just streaming YouTube videos, it can be used. If you're streaming anything at all, if you just want to pull up a uh, you know a, an offer, you can do that in this window okay it's that simple it's really really powerful it's got everything you need and it's got flexibility for colors and stuff like that to change the look and feel so put it to good use and enjoy and I'll see you on the inside thank you